I know this is not what I think it is. Hey, yo. Ooh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I played Persona 4, uh, no, Persona 5 Royal. I put 120 hours into that game, including the third semester, which I actually had to work in order to unlock. That time that I spent replaying a game, Persona 5 in particular, never played Royal on PS4, but when I played Royal on PC and I put 120 hours into it, I said, if I can beat a game that I've already played before, and put that many hours into it, how come I have not finished playing Shin Megami Tensei 4? I need a compelling RPG to get into like right now. Yo, that's right, we got out of Naruku. We're in a different dungeon now. Let's go. Yes. Whoa. Wind, the four elements, fire, earth, water. Oh, where's my fourth demon? Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, ooh. Damn, that was a lot of damage. Oh, we got hella at points. HP recovery? Are you serious? Hell yeah. Now, how much health am I recovering per step? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think. Oh shit, get away! We're at 80. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're at 82. If this is level one, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I, I gotta go through you, bro. Sorry. Is there any way to retreat and, you know, come back once all my demons are healed? There's no way to rest. I need healing. Oh, thank goodness, yo. No, no, no. Ah, fuck. Okay. Damn, we are collecting life stones like fucking common rarity Pokemon cards, bro. It's crazy. Oh, no, oh, shit. Let's go ahead and heal. So we're going to make this right turn here. If we run into any enemies, which we will. Ah, damn you. What the hell is going on? I should save. This is actually pretty compelling. 206 and we're 339 into the game. Oh, you're here. Isakar, you bitch. Don't tell me this guy's like the main villain. Now that I've seen the light, I've embraced the demonic. Ooh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. But then again, it was pretty obvious. Ah, I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to kill my buddy. Oh wow. It was mortifying the way I was passed over to become a samurai. But the books the black samurai brought me were greatly cheering. It was such fun. For the first time in life, I was thoroughly absorbed in something. And then, by within me i realized that it was all the fault of the luxurs that i turned out this way are you sure about that my guy if i'm being honest when i started the game i did not expect it to go in like this direction but i'm really really enjoying this uh oh ah let's go you ought to follow his example and act with clear intent <sighs> thank you let's put him out of his misery what you did was correct. Given the man's torment, I believe it was the most realistic choice. Okay, so in the beginning of the game, Jonathan and Walter call to you. You don't know that's who it is at first, but it's clear from their silhou silhouettes that that's who they are, as well as their voices. Jonathan and Walter are calling to you and they're each trying to get you there. I guess they're trying to convince you to kind of join them um in seizing the future or joining their side or whatever like that i wonder if this is the incident the inciting incident that starts driving a rift between the two of them i'm getting i'm i'm starting to get really sucked into the story now this is this is what i was looking for i was looking to get far far enough into the game to get sucked into the story i know this is not what i think it is Ayo? Eben attire. I think that this can be none other than the Black Samurai. Yo, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Really? Oh my goodness. I don't want to speculate out of hand. I don't want to speculate and then be wrong or, you know what? No, 
There's no issue with being wrong. What does this mean? What does it mean? Let me cook real quick. Keep in mind, I know very little about this. In SMT Strange Journey, the main character, as well as all the um, secondary characters in that game, whenever they go exploring, they wear suits that look exactly like that. Now, this could just be them bringing over a design into another game. Black Samurai, if they're wearing the armor, similar to the one in Strange Journey, or you know what? Maybe I just don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And this is like an armor design that they use in a lot of different games i don't know i haven't beaten strange journey but this looks exactly like a character from strange journey or maybe the main villain maybe like a crossover situation i don't know but i'm very intrigued what an unearthly appearance though i've never seen armor nor helmets the like of those keep it together keep it together keep it together nah this can't be what i'm thinking it is but what if it is okay now like now i gotta beat strange journey right maybe maybe you're a woman I mean, you could tell by the shape of her that she's a woman. What pitiful children. Come on now. You aren't even allowed to realize how distorted and biased this kingdom is. Okay. Maybe this character does originate in this universe, but there are so many different universes in this franchise. That's even if you don't include the like Persona games, like in the main Mega 10 Mega series, right? There's so many different universes, so many different worlds, so many different reasons somebody might be associating with demons or capturing or whatever like that. Damn, I was going to play five after playing this, but it can't hurt to play Strange Journey Redux, can it? Let's just see where it goes. That's why I distribute books, to spread knowledge and wisdom to everyone. Is that such a sin? I mean, Enough boasts from you. You're in our custody now, and that's that. Disseminating knowledge in itself is not a sin. I must go, but I'll leave these girls to keep you company. Don't do it, please. Oh fuck. The woman has summoned demons. Oh shit, it's Lilum. You had my interest at first, but now you have my full attention. Now I need to see where this story goes. This is the hook. You spend the first few hours just going in, you know, playing the game and kind of fucking around, dying a shitload of times in the first dungeon if you're me, but then you get to this point in the story and that, now I'm in here, I'm in, okay? Um. Oh wow, even me? Oh God, we're fucked. Where are we? Oh, the desert from the beginning of the game. The apocalypse. It's Steven. That girl would like to see you. She's to the east from here. Bro, which way is east? I'm gonna go ahead and assume this way. Oh, I was right. Let's go. Chat, help me. Okay, we're back. You wouldn't awaken no matter how much we tried talking to you. It's because I'm the chosen one. Much I speak the gods and fucking monsters and girls. shit. Though we discovered and attempted to capture the Black Samurai, she called upon demons thwarting our efforts. The Black Samurai has to be a character from... Oh my god. I don't want to spoil anything for myself, but I'm so curious. That dungeon just felt really easy. After all the grief that I went through trying to get through Naraku, it seems like that was extremely easy to get through. But... But on the other hand, I'm excited to see what the next dungeon has in store for us. 